Scorpio, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we are going to pull some messages that are going to help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing. Money, love, you know, the good stuff. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your life or a specific person, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you would like to receive a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. He's amazing. You'll love him. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your beautiful angels. Now, what we can see here is that there is a significant need to relax, beautiful soul. And the reason why we bring this up and the reason why we're laughing about it is because you're not gonna get to where you wanna go by thinking about it. I'll promise you that. I promise you, if you think, if you think that you can think your way through life, you've already lost. You've already lost and you might as well just throw in the towel right now because at the end of the day, it's probably gonna be a better time. Like right now, honestly, what we want you to do is this and what we're making fun about it because there's no death experience, okay? There's no death, there's just, excuse me, there's no death, there's just a death experience where we lose our, leave our physical bodies and we go on to transcend to what comes next for us. And depending on what lessons we've learned here and our evolution period process, we either come back to planet Earth or we evolve somewhere else, maybe to another star system, another world, which would be so freaking awesome. So that's where I'm headed. That's my intention. So we are evolving, beautiful souls. We are moving up. Right now we can see that you are hindering the degree of abundance that can flow into your life because of an obsession, an obsession. Your thoughts are running wild with you. Ooh, it could be this, it could be that, I could do this, I could do that. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what could it be? What could it be, what could it be? And the thing is, is that it doesn't work like that. You have to focus on, first of all, you have to focus on your own healing journey, right? And so what that means is that when we are when we are really emotionally attached to an outcome, we end up projecting our emotion into that thing. It's like if you ever really wanted a relationship to work out and you wanted it so bad, you almost put them on a pedestal. You almost like wanted to like try, right? Oh, I really want this to work out. You try your hardest. You're texting all the time. You're extra nice. You're, you're just being extra, right? No one likes that. No one likes trying. Have you ever noticed that? Nobody likes when you try at something. People like when you're authentic and you're real and you're just normal and there's no like extra. Well, the universe is the same way. So when we try to get a job or make money or have this person love us, well, what's gonna happen? We're gonna push that situation right away. So instead, what we want you to do is we want you to kind of have this little let go moment with yourself and this understanding that your self transcendence journey is the only intention we want you to have in your, on your, in your life. And so first things first, let's dive right into the affirmation for the day. Write this down in the comments below. Let the universe know what your true intentions are. I invite wealth into my life. I invite wealth into my life. Write this down in the comments below and remind your higher self, remind the universe, I invite wealth into my life, not I'm going to effort life wealth into my life. I'm going to try and get the most wealthy I could. I am going to be the wealthiest. Maybe that would be better. I'm going to be the wealthiest. How about I am the wealthiest? There's an even better one. You can write that down too. Whatever resonates with you, beautiful soul. But right now we can see that there is a lot of emotion that is, that is circulating around your creations, your manifestations. Now, remember, Everything happens in divine order. So you can't force things into action. You can't effort things. You can't do things to hurry up and make the results go faster. It's not sustainable. It's the same thing as saying, I'm going to eat less calories and work out more. And I'm going to get the body I want quicker. You may in fact, but you also may in fact burn out, feel sick, feel nauseous, be so turned off by the entire situation. And you never work out again, over binge, over consume, don't work out. It's just going to lead to this, uh, this, this, it's weird. So anyway, what we want for you now, because what we can see here is that there's too much obsession over your career and your finances about what way you should go. This won't help you. This won't help you. You can't try to figure out what the universe has planned for you. All you can do is follow the joys of your heart. Listen to what you're called to do. Take care of your body. Take care of your mind. That's how you transform your life, right? You transform your body, you transform your mind, transform your life. If you do not have a healthy diet, if you do not exercise daily, and if you do not have a meditation practice and a self-reflection isolation practice, 
that's where you start. That is where you start, beautiful soul. And from that foundation, then you grow into transforming the mind because you're going to feel better in your skin, right? You're going to feel more uh, willing to, to, to open up, right? You're going to feel more um, confident in your own voice, in what you really want. You're going to say, well, wait a minute. I, I once thought I wanted that, but I don't even know if I actually want that. I think maybe I might have been trying to force that because I thought I wanted it because I felt like that was the definition of success. But you know, there's so many definitions of true success, but they come in the form of what your soul really wants. And that's why we want you to understand reconnecting to your soul, your higher self is, is the, must be the, the perspective of one's life. Cause if we are not, then we are indecisive. We don't know what we want. And again, we can see here that you're being guided towards a great deal of your desires coming to fruition with that nine of cups. But right now you've got that nine of wands coming on. So there's going to be a little bit of a push to get there. There's going to be some challenges along the way. You know, at the end of the day, failure and temporary defeat are part of the journey to finding true success. So it's not the, it's not the fall, it's the comeback. And so we want you to remember that even though you may have been emotionally connected to things, it didn't work out, you're feeling desperate, you're feeling low frequency, this is all part of the journey, beautiful soul. But when you are in the awareness of, I've got to focus on my own life in order to be able to determine how to rise up from this situation, then you are living an on-purpose life. So even when you know frequencies come in, your mind starts to wander, you think, oh, I messed this up again, whatever it is, you dial it back in, you say, okay, this happened. It is what it is. I'm in this lower frequency. What, what happened? Was I too connected to the outcome? Was I forcing things? Was I putting this emphasis on it needing to be perfect, right? What was it? Because when you can really dial it in and focus on your own journey, that's when you start the self transcendence process. But when we are in a state of blaming our outer world and freaking out and frantic and we're reacting, oh no, now I'm going to eat. Now I'm going to overexercise. Now I'm going to do this. We're just in this reactionary state. Nothing's really evolving. We just keep reacting from the uncomfortableness we feel. And then we'll do something that makes us feel better very temporarily, but we'll get right back onto the same repetitive patterns in life. You see, we never really truly evolve, you see? So we want you to heal. We want you to just soak in that bath. We want you to relax. We want you to understand that having peace in your life and having a, having, having things you do for you to relax and gen create that peace. That's what's going to guide you forward. That's what's going to allow you to see the truth right now. Um, I was reading this book uh, by Napoleon Hill outwitting the devil and the devil says this, the devil says this accurate thought is death to me. I cannot exist in the minds of those who think accurately. That's by the devil, quote unquote, the devil, the devil is low frequency. The devil is any time we know we have to do something and we neglect on that thing. We know we have to do. We say, I'm going to work out today. And the day goes on, the day goes on and we haven't worked out yet. It's weighing on us. I got to work out. Then we go home. Our family's there. They cook dinner. We're like, okay, I'm going to sit with my family. And the next thing you know, it's like eight o'clock at night. And they're like, oh, I didn't work out today. The devil shows up. That's when the devil comes knocking at your door. As a matter of fact, you've opened the door wide open because you said, I'm going to do this thing and I didn't do it. You open the door wide open and that devil comes in there and the devil feeds off of fear, poverty, self doubt, indecision. The devil feeds off of that. The devil you can look at as a low frequency. When we're in that low frequency state, then we react from that weird state of low frequency. We're very possessive. We're very obsessive. If you are obsessing over things in your life, you can guarantee that you're operating at a low frequency and not taking your power. But the minute you take your power back and you can do that by establishing a clear boundary of you in your life. And I like to say F you devil. I say F you. I don't actually say the word that I don't drop the F bomb. I say F you. It's enough for me. It's basically me grabbing the devil by the tail or by the horns and throwing him at the wall and saying, not today. You SOB, you know, because you're intentionally choosing your power back. You're intentionally having that courage within fear. So when you feel that fear, when you feel that those low frequencies of but maybe not having enough or the not enoughs, the self doubt. You say F you devil, you S O B get the heck out of here. Not today. No way. What is it I need to do to transmute my life right now? You know what? I'm going to drop down and do some burpees. You know, what? I'm going to go for that walk. You know what? I'm going to drink that water. You know what? I'm going to hire a nutrition coach and get my macros on point and actually do the darn thing, right? That's what it's about because you have a, a new purpose here with this ace of pentacles. You have something new showing up for you. And this is going to be something that is going to be generated from you reclaiming your power in all moments of uh, anytime you feel weak, anytime you feel powerless, 
you can trust that that's the devil heart at work. So when you proclaim it and you say, uh, uh, no, nah, not today. No, no, no way. Right. What happens is you stop that momentum from building. When you huck the devil, you throw it the other way. And it's almost like the momentum shifts. Your energy shifts completely into this. I'm here now. I'm moving forward. But when we're just like, oh, I'm in a low state. I don't feel good. I know I got to change my energy. I know I got to do something for me. I know I'm in this frequency. You know, when we have this kind of mopey, like I know what I have to do kind of energy, it's not, it's not a big enough explosion for us, right? We have to emphasize it. So grab the devil, huck him out your window. My husband likes to, uh, uh, what's that thing? Uh, parachute. No, it's not a parachute. It's, uh, What's that thing where you put the rock in? You know what I'm talking about, right? You fling him, you fling him, the fling him, fling the devil, and then you will get yourself back in the right trajectory because it will be a moment of you taking your power back and you'll feel that power coming back. And then that's when you, 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 you know, throw in some positive affirmations. Again, you go for a walk, you do something positive for yourself. The angel message here today for yourself, beautiful soul, is ground yourself. So your angels are saying, when you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy fulfilling earthly life. And I can tell you, I can tell you from experience, if you are not prioritizing the foods you eat to feel grounded and feel satiated and feel good, nutrient dense, right? Look for nutrients. Nutrient dense is the word. What are the most nutrient dense foods on, on the planet? Seek those out, eat those foods, right? It's not just about getting calories in to feel full. You could eat iceberg lettuce for days. You know what I mean? And you sure you drop weight, but you wouldn't have nutrients. Nutrient dense foods, exercise at least once daily, get out for a walk at least once daily, you got your body covered. There you ground yourself. You ground yourself in your physical body. But when we are ungrounded, most likely we have toxins. Most likely we have a lot of um, fear that we've stored inside of our bodies. Most likely we have a lot of, uh, we don't want to attach to our bodies or connect to our physical bodies because it's too yucky in here. It's all full of garbage, right? We got to clear that away. We got to keep consistent with that clearing process so that we want to actually connect to our conscience, our feeling state, our chakras, our heart, all those things. And it helps us on our journeys. So step one, is transform your body. Step two is transform your mind. And step three is going to be the transforming your life. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was like, and subscribe, we truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.